Hey guys, welcome back to another pick a card reading. So today's reading is why do people love you? Okay, what's good about you? What's charming about you? What's sexy about you? Everything about you? Why do people love you? Okay, so well, before the reading starts, I just want to say thank you so much for the support and love from this channel from all of you. Um, okay, so let's get into our reading today. We have three groups. Why do people love you? The first group is this card, Mercury. <clears throat> okay, and the second group is this card, Sun. And the third group is this card, Chiron. Okay, so choose with your intuition. Don't overthink it. Now I'm going to play the same ball for three times as usual to help you ground yourself, clear your mind, okay? When you choose your pile, you can find the corresponding timestamp in the comment section. I will see you in your group. Hi, group one. Welcome to your reading. So you have chosen this Mercury card. Straight away, I get you could have Gemini. In your chart, you could have Virgo. You could have Aquarius. And uh, why do people love you? Straight away, I get because your soul clever you're so smart you're so intelligent and you are so interesting your life is so colorful yeah um it feels like you always you always bring inspiration to others and you always keep yourself busy and you always keep changing you always keep transforming you always keep learning it feels like you are someone who's very curious about this world um, almost feels like you have a childlike mindset or student mindset that you just want to explore, you just want to learn, you just want to see what's beautiful about this world. You never stop growing, you never stop learning. So that's why you always give something new to others. You always inspire other people. You feel like this color, this this like rainbow color you have many many sides in in you you are very good at adapt yourself into different environment as well i almost get a chameleon um is that the animal who changes its skin color according to the environment i feel you're like this <clears throat> Also, you are very good at your words. You are very good at expression. Um, on top of being really clever, I think you just have this humor with you. And also, you are thinking very clearly, exp expressing yourself very clearly. So if this is not your energy, you feel like, I'm not that like this, I feel you are getting into this. You are going to tap into this energy okay let's pull more cards i already get a lot of message from this card um what why do people love group one why do people love group one thank you universe pluto yeah transform okay so you don't stop transforming you don't stop changing i feel like the theme of your life may be change <clears throat> probably people you know when people look at you no matter how old you are they will always think you're someone who never stop surprising them that's the thing about you you are unpredictable uh in a very good way like people cannot predict what's your next stop who you're going to be coming into you know it feels like you never stop changing you never stop improving yourself something about you 
also i feel like something about you is very deep like you have this sharp sharp perception about life sharp vision sharp view about life that most of the people don't have this depth um, i feel like you've probably you've probably been to a lot of different places you've lived in different countries even <clears throat> And you know different culture, you speak different languages. It's like at core, you know human, you know about human, you know about humanity, you know about life. There's like the theme of your reading is really about your brain, is really about your mind. Not saying you are not appealing physically, no. I think the sexiness within you the charm within you is from within you had this sexiness you had this very luring energy coming from you because you're someone who is very very deep and wise it's your brain you're very very intelligent you could have prominent pluto placement or prominent scorpio scorpio or eight health placement um uh, let's keep looking <clears throat> Why do people love group one? Thank you, universe. Why do people love group one? Yeah, you see, this is a rainbow, and we have this rainbow color here. I do feel like people consider you as their blessing. It feels like every time you come into someone's life, they see something very unique about you. Probably you will, they will tell you you are nothing like anyone I know in my life. Because you're up high in the sky. So I wonder, group one, if you travel a lot, if you are very international, or if you just relocate every two years, every one year. There's a feeling about you that people cannot catch you. There's almost a feeling of you like a fairy like a little um, angel high up in the sky you, you vibrate in a very different frequency this is what I can tell you for some of you I really get um, you know those people who have relationships for 5 years, 10 years but for you, for some of you um, probably you never have such long term relationship because you always transform you always change it's very hard to keep up with you your energy change your energy changes every um like your energy changes faster more frequent than others it's very hard to keep up with you so you have this different energy, different vibration that people consider you like a rainbow they see in the sky. They don't see the rainbow a lot. We don't see rainbow every day. But every time when rainbow appears, it's something magical. It's something, it's a bless. Okay, it's, it's a blessing. So this is why people love you. I feel like not so many people get you actually. You are very deep, but at surface, you can appear very uh, witty, humorous, very cute. But actually, you have an old soul. This is what I can tell you. So this almost contradictory factors, characters on you makes you someone who is very unique, like a unicorn. You have this unicorn feeling. So people love you because you always, every time when you appear in their life, good things comes. Good things come. Good luck comes. Um, or you just inspire them or ignite them or show them something that they've never seen. It's like the things you've seen, because you have, I just feel you have been to so many places, many different places. If you... If this is not physical, physically that you've been to different places, then I see that like your mind is so open that you, your mind, your your consciousness, your spirit can go to many different places and absorb all those knowledges, knowledge, um, and witness so many different things. So, I feel like every time when you appear, 
in people's life, they consider this as a good sign. Even if you feel like an oracle, sometimes the things you say to others will just inspire others fundamentally. <clears throat> Yeah, you feel like an oracle, and you're very in tuned with yourself. You're very connected, um, with your higher self as well. You have very sharp, um, intuition. But I don't feel you're someone who's very emotional. I feel you're more the rational. You're more falling into the rational side, but you know how to use your intuition. I almost get an M. I almost get the MBTI type for you. It feels like ENTP or INTP. Let me know if you know,、um, or even ENFP. This this feels like you. Yeah. Let's pull one more oracle card. Then we're going to pull some tarot cards. So why do people love group one? Thank you, universe. Yeah, you you see, you had this eye. It's like, what you see, what you say, what the vision you give to other people, the things you see will just enlighten them. I don't think you consider yourself as a mentor to other people, but actually, you are kind of. I don't think you you do this consciously with purpose. I just feel this is you. I feel like you like to talk to people. I feel like you like to give out something different. It's just like you are so so different, and sometimes people will be amazed about what you say. Like they never, they probably will tell you, "I've never thought it this way." You are so talented. You are so brilliant. You are so bright. You know, it almost feels like you are a genius in some way. Like your perception about life, is some is a something that a lot of people don't have. You have this bigger picture. You have this bigger vision. Yeah. So why do people love group one? Thank you, universe. Why do people love group one? Why do people love group one? Why do people love group one? We only need three cards, so we have yet、yeah, six of wands. The hierophant, exactly. I do get the hierophant feeling from your cards before. Yeah, wow, king of wands. Nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you from shining. Nothing can stop you from moving forward. Nothing can stop you from chasing your freedom. There's a nobility quality inside of you, Group One. It almost feels like you are the, you are the emperor or you are the empress of your own world. You don't listen to anybody else. There is a sense of、um, authority. <clears throat> The sense of nobility and this sense of authority and autonomy in you—that you don't have to say anything; you just be present, and people can feel this. Um, yeah, you probably have a lot of fire, like Leo, strong Leo in your chart. You could be Taurus as well. <clears throat> I guess some of you, you might have. You might be Taurus, but you have Mercury in Gemini, or you could be Gemini, but you have Mercury in Taurus, for some of you. Or you could have Venus in Leo, or Mars in Leo, or even Pluto. Pluto in uh the third house or in the fifth house or something. <clears throat> You give people inspiration. This is what I keep stress stressing about. Like you give people inspiration. Sometimes what you say, care care carelessly, will just give them a, a an epiphany moment. Um, it's like this. You change people without you knowing. So you really feel like a blessing to other people. And I feel there's also there's an energy of you don't give a care. 
about anything. You just want to be happy. There is this childlike energy that that is always looking for happiness. You don't stop for sadness. There's, I think, you never show people the dark side of you. You always digest this dark moments alone. This is why people feel like why you don't have a shadow side. Like everyone has some dark side, but you don't. I just feel like you have a very deep side that you don't share with the world. You want to sit with it alone and digest and let it pass away. And this is your healing. This is what you do by yourself. So why do people love you is the brightness, the light you send out to the world. Because they don't see the shadow side. So they always see the light, the rainbow side of you. The bright side of you. <clears throat> I'm just telling you why people love you. But from this reading, I know that you have a very deep side. So it feels like nothing can beat you. Nothing can defeat you. Nothing will stop you. You are invincible. You are unstoppable. You are very, very driven. You have big dreams. You're the one who have big dreams and never stops for the tri trivility in life. You never stop for anything. You just chase your dream. You're the one who make dreams come true. You see this blessing? <clears throat> I feel you're a big, big manifester. For some of you, I get you are life path one, or life path seven. And a lot of times, I feel like you're alone, to be honest. Like, you want to be a loner because, you know, it's very hard to catch up with you. And for some of you, I get you might have Uranus aspecting your sun or your moon, or you have strong uh, 11th house energy or Aquarius. I guess strong Uranus. It feels like you're very independent. You orbit in your own way. And you don't care about the mainstream. You don't care about the... Uh, it almost feels like too heavy for you. I feel like your energy is so light. <clears throat> your energy, you just vibrate in a higher frequency. So I feel like you are not interested in this worldly success, like maybe making a lot of money. I think you have big dreams, big heart, big love, big goal. And you do not, you do not, I feel like you hate waste time for, you, yeah, group one. Like you're someone who hate wasting time. You do not waste your time on those, chasing after those things. I feel like you want to spend every second chasing something meaningful to you, fulfilling to you. You know, from other people, why they love you is you're living the dream life. You're living their dream life and you're living your dream life. Yeah, because you just, you don't give in. You don't settle for less. You don't settle down. You have very high standards. And you are just being, they see you always being successful. Only you yourself know that sometimes I'm not, not that successful. I always have, I also have trouble. I also have issues to work with. But what they see from you is just this big example of success. <laughs> and they feel you're someone who's very lucky. <clears throat> also, you know the direction. Not only you know the direction of your own life, you know the direction, probably you know the direction of their life as well. There's so much wisdom inside of you. Yeah. Let's see the bottom of the card, then I'm going to wrap up this reading for you. Yeah, the star. Aquarius energy. Yeah, you always chase after your dream. So, you know what? I feel for this group, especially <clears throat> for those who are over 30s, other people around you might get married, settling down, having kids, and they see you as this such rebel and such brilliant example of something they dream of that you do not you do not give up your life for anyone you just have your goal your dreams your mission and you will not stop because how the society expect 30s or 40s to do you know you don't settle for these rules you don't obey these rules you're just living your life according to your own free will 
and that's so brave about you. I didn't mention how brave you are, but this whole reading is shouting out how brave you are. It's this bravery, this gumption that you don't give in and you don't care. You just want to be happy. You don't obey the rules. You just want yourself to be happy. So you have, you know, I know it's not true to say that you are more happy than other people, but you know, because everyone has different situation and happiness is subjective. But for you, I actually want to say your energy feels more happy than most of the people or most of the people they who know you, they feel like you live a much more happier and freer, freer, much more free life than them. That's why they love you. They see you as the star in the sky. They see you as the rainbow in the sky. So group one, this is your reading. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. And keep, keep your journey. Keep being inspired. Keep being you. The amazing you. Okay? And take care of yourself. Um, hope you like this reading. Let me know. Um, I will see you next time. Bye. Hey group two, welcome to your reading. So this is the reading of why do people love you? Straight away, if you choose this song card, um, I get you're just so confident and you're a leader. You shy, you shy among people, you shy um, among everything. You are the main character, okay? Uh, you are so sure of yourself. It's this deep confidence within you. You could have Leo in your chart or Aries or Sagittarius even. I get a lot of fire energy or permanent fifth house energy or first house energy. Like people will be drawn to you and I feel um, I haven't checked out group 3 yet, but I do get this very, very sexy feeling about you. Probably you're the most sex sexy, <laughs> sexy group among all the groups today. Yeah, there is a really, really luring energy from you. I feel like you not only attract um, the sex that you're interested in, but you always... But you also attract the other gender. Like you attract everyone. And I feel this is coming from the deep, grounded, um, and sure. Like your energy feels really sure. This, this almost like, um, how to say, you feel like something that is really grounded very stable almost feel like emperor the energy of emperor card you know and i feel like you're someone who's very um sometimes people love how aggressive you are to be honest like you have this aggressive feeling with you and i feel like some sometimes people just love how aggressive you are and I wonder if you attract those people who are um, like the opposite from you. Like they are really mellow and they admire this quality within you that you just say what you have in mind and you don't give any care about that. And uh, sometimes you defend yourself and you confront people. Like you can do a lot of things that other people or especially shy people, timid people, they never think they can do this. So I feel like maybe you attract a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, you attract a lot of secret admirers. I feel like you have a lot of secret admirers at the moment. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, like they just admire how much audacity you have, like how bold you are. Like you express yourself without any filter, not without any filter. I mean, just, you know, you know what I mean? Just, you know, you say, 
your mind bluntly. You're very frank. You're very direct for sure. And I feel like you're so confident about expressing yourself, no matter it's your mind or your sexuality as well. It's like you're not afraid of expressing yourself. You're not afraid of showing yourself. You're not afraid of presenting yourself in front of the world. You're not afraid to be seen. This is the, the, the key quality within you. Let's pull one more card. <clears throat> Why do people love to... Oh, Cancer. Nurture, comfort, and protection. Yeah, so yeah. You could have this Cancer placement as well because Cancer is pretty close. Is the, uh, the previous sign of Leo. So probably you have Cancer and Leo in your chart. I feel like with the Sun... You feel warm. Your energy feels really warm. Your energy feels the warmest among three groups. So you do have this nurturing quality. And people will feel safe around you. I do said I do say that you have this emperor energy even and it says protection. I do feel like how grounded you are and how strong like there's deep strength within you. Like how strong you are makes other people feel safe around you you could be female it doesn't matter it's not a gender thing i just feel like you give other people this feeling of being protected because you are protecting yourself and anyone who's under your energy field they can feel this protection and also i, I said you're being very aggressive but also this warmth nurtures and comforts other people like you have this soothing power as well but i don't feel like you are soft that very soft i feel this is because cancer actually isn't the soft the most soft sign cancer is hard on the outside and soft inside and i feel this is you like from outside people see you're so tough yeah you're very tough but when they get too close to you they see the soft side in you and they are going to be melted by this. Yeah. And you're actually very sweet if people get to know you closely. So this big contrast is very charming. It's very, yeah, very, like, I feel you have a lot of secret admirers. I don't know why. Let's keep, um, pull the cards. Why do people love group two? Dawn, new beginnings. Wow. This is very like positive energy. I just feel like you give people hope. I don't know what you do, but group two, like you always inspire and encourage people. Like you give people hope. And they don't see like you are so positive every time they see you they feel like it's something that they can envision for a long time like i feel like everyone in your life that you let because i do feel you have strong boundaries for sure like everyone you allow to be in your life i wonder is it for a is it long time friends long time connections it's like if you allow people in your life, then you're going to see a future with this person. You're going to have a future with this person. You know what I mean? Like, you're not just someone who, um, of course, we're living in the present, but I just feel like you're someone who plans for the future. You're someone who thinks long term. And you're someone who always, always, I don't feel like you're planning but without any action, but I always feel like you want something bigger. You are keeping expanding and you are having this new beginnings. Like always there's something very prosperous about you. Like your energy feels abundant. There's nothing lacking about you. You don't have a hint of lacking mentality or lacking energy inside of you. It's so abundant. Like 
because the new beginnings give me gives me this feeling of so much hope and you see dawn you see the sun and we do have the sun it's like you have this very very abundant energy you always have this abundant mindset and this is why people love you and people see a future with you this is what i'm talking about this is the reason why they love you as well it's just you gave them so much hope for the future and your energy tells them the future is always better than now better than the past better than the present i don't think this is something you say i think it's you being you it's kind of reassuring to them that future is always better this is the energy right why do people love group two yeah you see this train um <clears throat> you are a go-getter you are a go-getter and you have so much action and you always look for the better you always want to be better you always see things how they can see things how they can be improved um how to make yourself better how to make others better how to make everything better um uh, it's not toxic positivity okay um it's you are just i feel the strength inside of you also there's vita vita mm, vitality inside of you this liveliness this livelihood for some of you, I feel like people will ask you sometimes, like, how on earth you're not tired? If I'm you, I'm going to be worn out after three days of what you're doing. I feel like this is what other people tell you, like, how you can be so energetic that you, you don't know, you, you, you don't get this, you don't get tired. Sometimes they wonder like this because you just have so much drive sexual drive as well i see a lot of driving within you you have so much drive so much ambition you're very ambitious and so much energy so much strength like you always keep pushing forward you always keep moving forward and i do feel like your energy feels to be honest your energy feels a little bit similar with group one but the difference is i think you have lifelong goals like you have long-term goals for 20 years later 30 years later like you're not someone who is um i feel like i said this to group one as well mbti type you might be j like you could be e n f j um e n i feel like you're e for sure or you could be i as well like e n um uh, tj like you are like j j type like you have plans you have steps you have moves and you plan this not for just one year not that i'm going to have fun this year i'm not going to do anything else or i'm just living in the moment i don't think about the future too much i don't worry about that i feel like you're someone who plans for 10 years ahead 20 years ahead you know you plan for the long term. This is why people love you. You just have this natural leadership quality within you. Yeah. Okay, so why do people love group two? Why do people love group two? Thank you, universe. Five of Wands. The Hierophant came out for group one as well. Three of Swords. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I'm laughing is because this is you and this is other people around you. This I'm not saying like other people around you are broken or toxic or it's just there's big contrast. So I, I see it. Why? Yeah, let's start at the bottom. So yeah, your group feels very similar with group one. We have the same card here and the star at the bottom. So group two. There's a kind of reminder uh, is that 
do not take the world, uh, do not take the responsibility of the world on your shoulders. Okay, because you are someone who is account, who's who is so reliable, people could count on you. You sometimes tend to attract people needs help, and people have issues because you can solve their problem. Yeah, <laughs> like. You sometimes you attract heartbroken people, like broken people who seeks to heal. Um, I feel this is my group to be honest. You attract people, so so be very careful. Do not attract toxic people, or at least you can have some healthy boundaries. And do not be afraid to set up your boundaries. Do not let anyone take you for granted. Okay. And um, you sometimes attract um, codependent people as well. I hate to say this, but really the energy is here. Um, I'm going to talk about why you are amazing later, but this is just a reminder. Like, Also, there is wisdom inside of you that you can help people solve their problems. You see this five of wands. Like, you can help people. You can help a person, you can help multiple people, you can help organizations, you can help large groups to solve their problem. It's like you have this strong TJ, like MBTI type, like TJ quality. Like you can remain calm and steady and reliable and responsible in knowing what to do. So like you're the brain, you're the center of of you hold everything up you hold everyone up you're the center of the group your center you're because you are the leader okay why people love you because you can solve their problems they need you why people love you is because when their life has so much going on that they have no clue what to do you can be still amazing and still calm and still knowing everything it feels like you know everything but you know what i feel like group two you need to do some cleansing because right now i'm dizzy i need to drink some water i feel this is your energy you're a little bit overwhelmed maybe at the moment i'm, I'm feeling really dizzy right now the reason why I say you need cleansing is because maybe you have toxic energy around you. <sighs> because you're this light. So you know light light can attract a lot of things that need light to them. So yeah, do cleansing and definitely cleanse out this toxic toxicity around you. There's mm, be careful, there's like because Okay, I'm just gonna say it. Energy vampires. People who drain you because, you know, you are so amazing. You're so delicious. And they just want to get to you. It's very important for you to actually say no and stop helping. Yeah, I feel like this is what I'm talking to myself. A lot of times I help too much and people take me for granted you know, and I th then later on when I realize I'm, I'm already too drained or I already have too much resentment or my energy is all is already like given out, you know. Yeah, so if you have this kind of issue, make sure you recharge yourself from time to time. Make sure that, okay, make sure that don't let people manipulate you by by saying the good things to you. Like you're someone who sometimes could have ego. We do, we all have ego, but you know, because I feel like you're someone who is very, who is very soft inside. Like you don't want to hurt people and you don't want to reject people. And a lot of times when people say really wonderful things to you, you get carried away maybe, and you feel like, oh, this is so nice. I should do this, you know. Do not fall for that. Do not let people manip manipulate you by appraising you, by giving you compliments, by showing you their, like, I don't know. It feels like this.
but I think you'll be fine. Like you see the three cards, you're in the middle and you're not bothered. Your energy feels very different from from those people around you. So that's why I say you have a lot of secret admirers and <laughs> I feel like those people who admire you who are secretly loving you feels like you they have to compete for you. They have a lot of competition because you you just have like people love you. You don't lack of anybody else. And you'll be fine because your energy feels very different from the environment around you. So right now, probably you're not at the best environment. So make sure you take some time out for yourself. Um, give this environment only to yourself to nourish yourself. Acknowledge that you also need to take care of yourself. Even though sometimes people need help from you, but it's not your responsibility to help them. This is very important. They have the responsibility to help themselves. You can only do what you can to help them. Okay. Um, yeah, and you are a healer for sure. You can heal people. Um, yeah. It feels like your wisdom is much higher than people around you like your like the intelligence level i mean this this is spiritual intelligence i'm talking about the intelligence level is very different from you and other people around you currently in your environment you know what i want to pull one more card for you because i really want to know why you are here group two it feels like you're not you don't belong here you're only here for temporarily. Like, this is not your place. Why you are here? You must. There must be a reason, or you have something to finish here. Why you are here, group two? Yeah, the star. You are here to be an example. You are here to lead. I hate to say it. it feels like a lot of responsibility, but you are here to lead other people and to show the way. You are here to heal, but. Make sure you do this within your own capacity. Do not worry yourself out, okay? While you are here, for once, you're, some, you're here to build something that's stable. You're here to stabilize yourself as well. I think right now you're here to take a pause, to enjoy something that's simple, that's easy. Not saying that you shouldn't attain more ambitious goals, but right now I feel this is the time for you to actually take a break, to heal yourself as well, to experience this simplicity in life. Why you're here? Too many cards. One last card. <clears throat> Why you're here? Six of Wands. You're here to share your knowledge. You're here to share your wisdom. You're here to... You know, it feels like you I'm just give I'm just going to give you an example. It feels like you are Prometheus. You're here to bring the fire to people. So this is not your world because you don't believe uh, you don't belong here. But you're here to give something from a higher dimension to lower dimension world. This is what I feel. You're here to inspire, you're here to enlighten. But make sure you don't warn yourself up. Um, I cannot repeat more. So group two, you'll attract a lot of secret admirers. And always, also, always remember something else. I just want to add on this. A lot of people think they fall in love with you. But... It's only because they need the healing energy from you. They actually don't love you, the real you, because they don't still they they don't have the capacity to love you yet. By this, I mean you have to be on the same level of depth, same level of energy, same frequency to reciprocate and to understand that person you love. But the problem is, I feel a lot of people love you, but they're not on your level. It's far from your level. So they love you. They think they love you. It's actually they project this and they misunderstanding this love 
sorry, the misunderstanding, this need for healing as they loving you. Do you know what I mean? Like a lot of people, I, f I, mean, I feel a lot, like a lot of people think they love you, but they just need healing. But they are not aware of this because their spiritual intelligence level is so low. So they don't know that this is a sign that they need healing. And they don't know that what they love is the energy and the healing they can you can bring to them, not you. Because they don't have the capacity to love you because you're not on the same level. And if you be in this kind of relationship, it's super toxic. I hope this explains something to you. So their love to you almost feels like a worship to a god. But a human cannot be in a very healthy, like mutual two-way relationship with a god because their energy level is different. In a healthy relationship, I'm talking about healthy relationship. Healthy relationship is two people on the same level understanding each other for for the first the first thing is to understand each other if you don't understand someone you do not love this person or you do not have the capacity or the ability to understand this person something before love is mutual understanding you understand them but they don't understand you but still they think they love you is actually they worship you or they need your energy okay Ah, I think it, it's like the a, a patient falling in love with his or her therapist. It's 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 not a healthy relationship. It's not a relationship. It's not a romantic relationship. It's a toxic relationship, and you need to acknowledge that this is only a need for healing. This is a relationship between a patient and a doctor. And it's not mutual. It's 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 not okay. So that's pretty much about your group. Hope you like it, and hope you get inspired somehow through this reading. And take really good care of yourself. Okay, group two, you need this. And I will see you next time. Bye. Hi, group three. Welcome to your reading. So you have chosen this Chiron card for first, I feel you could be a healer. This is why people love you. Um, it's not something you do or something you say. It's your energy. It's healing. Like you have this Reiki, <laughs> Reiki healing energy. Your this Reiki healing energy is like your energy feels really, really calm, soothing deep as well very tender very calm i feel this deep calmness from your energy from this color i see and chiron is a um i think it's an asteroid talking about healing anyway it's it's a star of healing okay so you could be a doctor, you could be a nurse, you could be a healer, any kind. And you know what? I don't think you talk too much. I don't think you're someone who likes talking. I think you're much more reserved. <clears throat> you're, mm, you're somehow mysterious as well. Let's see why do people love you. This is this is why do people love you. Already. I feel like you know who those who love you love you. <laughs> those who love you sees everything about you and still love you. So this is you. It feels like this is who you are and this is why people love you. Yeah. Yeah, I do feel like you're you're like um what's that word? Xanitu? Like you're you're like a secret place. Sacred sic secret and sacred. Like you're you're like this secret place that is so sacred that people go to 
like you're not for this group your energy feels very different from group two you're not putting yourself out there i don't think you're those type of person who likes to show off or not saying group two is showing off it's you don't like to put yourself in the center or you 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 don't even like to draw attention from other people you hope that nobody notice me i'm in i'm transparent nobody pay attention to me but actually you know what with you being so quiet and low-key people love this about you like you are this very quiet flower that is only there for people who have this heart to appreciate <sighs> i don't know your energy feels like you know when we hike Sometimes we go to a place and there seems no way, but when we make a turn, there's actually a Chinese po poetry um, that describes this. Like you, when you hike, you go somewhere and you think that's a dead end, but when you make a turn or when you get too close, and suddenly there opens a like a Eden, like a paradise behind all those bushes. And it's so, so amazing. It feels like you're like this, you know. People will be surprised when they get to know you. From outside, from surface, probably you're hiding yourself. I don't know why. I feel a lot of hermit energy. Maybe you have life past number nine. Maybe you are Virgo. Or you could have Virgo. So, I don't know why I feel like maybe you're hiding yourself. But actually, but actually you know. When people get to know you, they discover, oh my god, you're someone who's this interesting, this amazing, this different. You can provide so much, but you just don't hide, hide yourself. You just don't show this. I feel for some of you, you know what? I feel for some of you, you came from group two. Or for some of you, you could be the future of group two. I feel group two could develop some. I just feel some. Like, a part of group two will develop and grow into you. Interesting. Or maybe you want to check out group two as well. Group two feels like your past. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. One more card. I love your energy, group three. So tender, so soft. Uh, so dreamy. Let's see. What is... Why people love group three? Why people love you? Mutable, yes, you see the water. Yeah, I wonder if you have Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces in your chart. You feel so healing, so soothing. There's not a t not a hint of pressure when people get to get close to to you. You know what? I feel like for some people, when you get to know them, when you get to their energy field you will sense that their energy feels so overwhelming like so like this whoosh, that covers you so much their energy feels so present like i'm just there you cannot ignore me like sometimes too much but i feel for you like you're like this water you're very light i i even want to talk like this i even want to whisper like you 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 do not give any pressure to other people. People do not feel any pressure around you. So comfortable, you know, so soft. Um, and you don't give yourself any pressure. Surrender, fluidity, and welcoming change. Yeah, you're someone who's very wise. Like, you can adapt to anything, basically. Like, you don't go hard. You don't go head to head with people. You don't butt heads with people. You don't come from people, but you always find a solution that is very wise, that is very fluid, like that is very, yeah, you have this highest, I, al I al almost want to say you have this highest level of wisdom, um, which is like water, like I can go through anything, I don't have to break anything, I can be any shape, yeah. Uh, I, I want to mention the Chinese philosophy again. Like, we consider water, not we. 
um, a philosopher considered a very famous and very powerful philosopher from ancient time in China, mentioned this: the highest level of wisdom and, and the highest level of kindness and the highest level of intelligence or power is water, because it can be anything. It can go through anything. It's not. It's unstoppable. And it changes shapes according to anything. But it's so powerful because it can break through the stone, right? If you dip it for a long time, it can actually penetrate the stone. And it's very, very powerful. So the, the I feel like you have this even f divine feminine, feminine energy within you that's, you know, you know, I'm just opening myself. I'm just, I'm just surrendering. There's nothing, nothing that I need to really fight. And I, and I just surrender and I just be myself and I just keep, be like the water and you know. This is so beautiful. Why do people love you? Also because you're beautiful. <laughs> this is what I feel. Like you're someone who's very feminine. If you're a man, you could be having Pisces and Cancer in you. This is what I feel. Strong Cancer. I don't know why. Like, you, you are very feminine. If you're a man, then you are very caring. And you know, you love women. You know how to care for women. You know how to take care of them. If you're a woman yourself, then you're very feminine. Like, you have this very feminine quality that will just it's magical yeah yeah you're so good with changes it's like nothing can really like nothing can really get to you i almost feel like this yeah i wonder if you have neptune <clears throat> it feels like you have so many depths but it's different than pluto it's you have so many depths that you have your own little dream world and probably you don't share with others but you're also very secretive but it's not something dark it's just you're mysterious why do people love you is because you're mysterious they think they know you but you know what group three i think you're like the ocean or you're like something people first get to know you they think they know you but when they get closer they find another layer of you and when they get closer they get not they find out another layer of you you are limitless yeah you are limitless people can the, those one who love you will probably think you are a puzzle like they can never solve they can never see the the whole you because you are always so mysterious there's always something they don't know there's always something that's a little bit vague there yeah <clears throat> wow let's pull another card why do people love group three why do people love group three shaman asian healing wisdom exactly we have Chiron and we have healing so i think group two you might have some magical power that you don't know or you know you are born psychic like you are born intuitive you're born psychic and you know what the colors of your card is just so different from other piles you see this like green Green, um, what's that color? Green, blue, tur tur turquoise. Anyway, uh, green, blue, blue, purple. You know, you are so mysterious. It's like you probably you could have twelve house placements as well. Oh right, your MBTI type. I'm guessing everyone's mbti type in all three groups today could be enfp enfj i feel like you're definitely intro introverted 
E N and you're very intuitive for sure. E N F something E N F P or E N F J. Yeah. Yeah, you're so so mysterious. You're definitely an old soul, and you're very feminine. <laughs> I don't know why I look at this card and I said you're very feminine. Um, and you are like this healer, you know. You, you Maybe sometimes, I don't know, you can share this with us. Like, if someone is in pain and you touch them, they are better. I don't know, something about your energy, your presence. Like, you, yeah. You're not doing anything particular, but you just being you is enough to heal other people. Wow, amazing. There's a magical power. And I feel people respect you. You know, the outside now is quieter. <clears throat> when I recorded for group one and two, there's noise of construction. But with you, everything suddenly become, becomes quiet, more quiet. Yeah, you have this serenity that nobody can nobody can bother you like you have the serenity whatever that what happens there's so you're so serene you're so calm there's deep peace within you that nothing nobody can can change that yeah <clears throat> why do people love group three? Oh. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Yeah, group three. I think, like, from outside, uh, from appearances, you are the most, like, natural-born, beautiful in all three groups today. This is what I can tell you. You know, the same message comes for group two as well. I think you have secret admirers. <laughs> Or at least one secret admirer who wants to come into your life. Yeah, let me take a sip of water. Mm. As a bonus, I will read who is this person. I really feel like this person thinks you are beautiful. And this is most of people who know you who loves you because of you're beautiful as well but i do get this is a very specific person who's waiting to come into your life mm -hmm. and this person definitely thinks you're beautiful so now i'm going to ask why do people love you ah, no i'm going to ask who is this person first oh you see Queen of Cups, this is someone who's going to fall in love with you, group three. You're going to fall in love with this person. Definitely, I feel this is a love interest coming into your life. And you're, go you're going to give this cup of love to this person, yeah? Yep, yep, yep. Um, but it's interesting because I, uh, I was going to ask, I was asking about this person, but this Queen of Cups shows up. So actually, this person is hiding his energy. I see. I say, hey, he's, because I I feel this is a muscular energy. This person is hiding his energy as well. So I wonder if this person is as mysterious as you. Like this is someone who is on the same level, same frequency, same page with you. This is healthy. Like, <laughs> yeah, I talked about this in group two. This is healthy. This is someone who actually can reciprocate your energy. I feel this is like a king of cups. So, interesting. This person is hiding himself. Let's ask one more. Like, who is this person? The fool. Someone new. Someone you never met. Someone you, very unexpected. Very unexpected. You don't know. But I feel this person is really close. This energy is really, really close with a fool that this person is going to jump into your world like about to jump <laughs> so this is something yeah this is something beautiful you see it's all these romantic colors yeah you're a match you know why because you see this color is almost the same red red here and this person pink pink here so beautiful and blue 
a lot of blue. So I feel this person is as romantic as you. This person is as deep as you, as intuitive as you, and as intelligent as you. There's not just only an emotional connection, but a deep intellectual connection with this person as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, so expect the unexpected. Now, let's get back to why do people love group three? Eight of swords, <clears throat> nine of wands, four of pentacles. Why do people love you? Bottom, we have nine of cups. Um... I almost want to say you're outside of this world, group three. It just feels like you're not bothered. You're not bothered by this world. You're not bothered by what's going on. You're not bo bothered by... It feels like, you know, a lot of times people wonder like, are we living in the same world as group three? Because it feels like they live in a different world, even if we live in the same reality. And are we living in parallel universes? Like, even if you are here with them, even if you're having dinner with them, even if you are sitting at the table, the same table in the same room, being with them, talking with them, it almost feels like you are not there. Like you are at somewhere else. Do you know what I mean? It feels like... With the Eight of Swords and with the Knight of Wands, I actually, it's the first time I see these two cards as a very positive meaning. Yeah. It feels like you're not bothered by anything that is happening in the physical world because your world is so rich and your world vi uh, operates in another frequency that no matter what happens outside, you are living in your own unique reality and you're enjoying yourself. It feels like this. You see, because the Eight of Swords is blocking this girl, right? And the Nine of Wands is having this fences for this girl as well. I almost get this feeling that you're being watched and protected. You're being protected by your higher self or you're being protected by the source or the universe or your own guides. Like, you're not, like, um, for example, maybe something happened. It may be same thing happened that will harm other people, but they will not harm you. Because you are protected. I don't know. I feel like there is strong protection around you. This Asian healing wisdom can also talk about you are watched and protected by this energy, by this Asian healing wisdom, this Asian healing energy. It almost feels like because what's going on outside is too much and now you're here wherever you are is because you are being protected for some of you you thought oh my god i'm stuck here but no actually this is where you're supposed to be because you don't know that if just giving you an example you know if you are somewhere else that you want to be probably something's gonna happen that will harm you so that's why the universe put you at your current place to actually protect you from any harm. Yeah. This has something... This doesn't have something to do with why people love you, but I think this is a message that's worth, that's worth delivering. And why do people love you is you don't care about what's, gonna, what's going on outside there. And you're just minding your own business with the Four of Pentacles. It's like, whatever that happens, I'm just going to be me. I'm just minding my own business. I'm just enjoying my own life. I don't want to bother anyone. I don't want to be bothered by anyone.
I get it. Why do people love you? I was staring. <laughs> it's not something wrong with the video. <laughs> I was just staring at the Eight of Swords, and suddenly I had this realization that why people love you is you always see a way out. Nothing can. Nothing can. It, it's. It almost feels like you have this higher wisdom that you know everything is just a mirage, an illusion, or from a scientific saying, it's like everything is a hologram, right? Our Earth life is just a hologram,、uh, a projection of higher dimensional life. You know this, you know this group three. You know this. You understand how it works. So you see everything as just a mirage, and you're you're not detached. Sorry, you're not attached to it. So that's how you can always detach yourself, detach and unstuck yourself from any situation that. Keeps you like this. You can always let set yourself free from this. You can always let go. You can always detach. This is the wisdom of water as well. This is the wisdom of water I talked about because water can detach very quickly. <clears throat> so why people love you is because they see this higher wisdom within you that you can detach yourself, set yourself free from any kind of situation. With the Eight of Swords, they see this higher wisdom within you. Sometimes, a lot of times, people think, "Oh my God, if I'm in this situation, I'm going to, going to be meat on the table." I'm. I don't want to say that word, and. But for you, you somehow always get out of there. Yeah, they like they wonder like how the hell you do that? How on earth you do that? Yeah, and with the Nine of Wands. I get a different feeling. I feel like why people love you is because you have strong boundaries. You have clear boundaries. You respect your boundaries. You respect yourself. You are very selective. You don't let anyone come into your life. You are very like you respect yourself. That's how people receive you. So they will not mess up with you. They will just not. Even though you are very soft from outside, I feel that like almost you're like. You're very soft from outside, but inside, when they get to know you, you have very strong boundaries. That's a big contrast, and that's why people love you. And Four of Pentacles means like you're just minding your own business. You're not, you're not bothered. Yeah. It's just you have this inner stability that's so grounded and solid, but from outside you're so fluid. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and you know what? I was again because this Eight of Swords is a puzzle for me. Again, I was asking why do people love you. It's from the outside how soft, how vulnerable you are, but actually how much strength you have. You could look like so innocent, so weak, even so vulnerable, or sometimes you seems like the victim. But actually, you're not. You're someone who is so strong that can get you get yourself out of here. It's this contrast that people love. Your outside and your inside. Your inside feels like a lion or a tiger. From outside, you're just like a sheep or a rabbit. It feels like this. Not saying that you're not consistent or coherent or honest. It just feels like you have so much inner strength that you don't show off, that you don't brag about. You hide it. You remain low key. That's why people respect that. But from outside, you're not aggressive at all. You make everyone comfortable. No pressure. Yeah. Yes, this is your reading. I love it, Group Three, and I learned so much from your reading as well. This is something took me by surprise. This is why I love to reading sometimes. You know. I learned so much through the reading, as well.、Um, 
I hope you like it. I hope you find it interesting in there. So this is the reading group three and um, take care of yourself and I'll see you next time.